Okay, 05 Chevrolet Silverado. Gonna test the uh, fuel pressure. Probably okay when you first turn it on. Should still be better than that though. Should have shot up better for than that. Let's see what it's like running. That's still way too low. I'll purge it a little bit. See if that helps it. Nothing. Supposed to be between 52 to 62. Nothing. Not much of a change. Okay, I'm going to try and do a uh, oscilloscope reading on the fuel pump. This is how I got the signal from the fuel pump. You go into the fuel pump um, fuse. I made this one up. This is my own design. Instead of buying them, I mean they're more expensive buying them. I use a, uh, a Hantec 65 amp set on the highest setting. It can go down to 20 amp. You put it in line with that and you can measure it. Don't forget to put the fuse back in when you're done or the car won't start. So that's how you hook it up and if you need a guided uh, test you can always go to the Pico site Pico uh, oscilloscopes which are the best and they have a couple uh, down menus that you can get and you can get into that and that will help you hook it up and they got a whole bunch of tests for actuators, sensors, all kinds of stuff. A lot of good uh, stuff. Sample waveform you're seeing here. You see these little peaks that go along. That's the uh, commutator on the uh, fuel pump. As the segment goes by the brush you're going to get a peak every single time. Okay, you could actually measure from time to time and see how many actual segments are on that fuel pump, but we're not looking for that. What we're looking for is when it's running, when this engine's running, dropouts. So these drop down or wave back and forth. That's how, that's how you can tell that the com commutator is in pretty bad shape and the pump's not working that great. This uh, 05 4.8 Chevy Silverado keeps stalling and uh, intermittently. And it also has other problems, but for right now, the fuel, we're going through the fuel pump. And since it only has 40 PSI, it's supposed to be 52 to 62 PSI, we're actually going to replace the pump. It's got a lot of miles on it. I'm going to start it up, and you can see, live, It'll come across here and you'll be able to see it. It's a little dirty because this is a cheap, cheapy uh, oscilloscope, but it's good enough to do the job. As you can see there, like randomly going up and down 
Some of them go up a little too high. Some come back down. You see right there? Up and down instead of a nice steady wave. We're not getting that. That's the commutator. That's what the brush is wearing out. And the fact that we only have a currently 38 PSI when it's supposed to be 52 to 62 PSI, this is going to have to condemn the fuel pump. This truck's going to need a new fuel pump. So, that's what I'm going to recommend. Alright, thanks for watching.